beautiful evening here in Abu Dhabi. A lovely 25 degrees, barely a breath of wind. Match two, Samp Army up against the Bangla Tigers from the Zaid Cricket Stadium. Should be a cracking game, two very, very strong sides. Set to go, match number two, the Abu Dhabi T10. Yeah, spin straight away. Maybe surprising seeing how much movement there was in that first game on this surface. Pulled leg side and into the gap. He's a powerful left-hander. Zazai can get a boundary to finish the first over. And you, normally when it happens, either a drop catch or a misfield. He shouldn't have been on strike. It's a good shot, powerful shot for the first maximum. Forearm power of Zazai. Ability to just short arm jab that straight down the ground. That one's gone away. It should be the first wicket. Little outswing. It's brilliant bowling. Thoroughly deserved that. It's such clever bowling. He thinks it's coming in. He thinks the angle's all coming in. But it floats away from him because of the release from Hot Duck. And that is uh, superb. And the Tigers lose their first. It is uh, Lukman Faisal. Cut away. And this will run away to quick outfield here in Abu Dhabi. Again, mistimed, down the... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Captain. It's the captain. Ronnie, what are you doing? Ah, uh, gets a freebie. And finally another boundary. And they post 50 to the Tigers, but it's taken them. 7.2 and this will go for four as well so much needed 13 off the eight and the Tigers are 62 for one up and over yeah delightful and goes for the maximum on this surface you've got to drag your length a little bit back Drag it back. Roll your fingers across it or let the surface nip. And it's gone up. Gone a long, long way up. And way back. Slow ball hasn't worked on this occasion. Six brings up the 50 partnership and all of a sudden the Tigers are just getting into the groove. It's, well, it's fairly obvious. Shanika knows exactly what's coming, he just pumps it. But he goes for it. He tried the Yorker, just gave a little bit of whiff, and Shanika did really well. Don't forget, Shanika was eight from nine at one stage, Danny. He's now 36 off 22. From the bowler fraternity and, and the keeping fraternity. Low, six out! Shanika's got enough of this one. It was go slow at the start, but I'll tell you what, he's caught up beautifully now. Striking 182. Well, that's clubbed. There is a man in the deep, but all he could do is look over the shoulder. 50 up from 25 balls. Brilliant from the Sri Lankan all-rounder. He is giving Bangla Tigers a great platform now. Well, they do go on about uh, the two lowest forms of the game in terms of T10 and T20. And that strike rate, bang on 200. Up again. Fetch this. He has smoked it. And the 100 up with a ball to go, 25 off this over. Humming along nicely, the Sri Lankan. Well, brilliant from Shanika. It's not very good from Raham Mustafa. In fact, it's actually very poor. Oh, please. More, more cabin crew on that. It's gone all the way. Shanaka 
finishes with 62 from 27. The last three overs went for 56. He ends up striking at 57, beg your pardon. 229 is strike right. Well, what a great finish. 52 runs from Shanika's last 15 balls. That is sublime ball striking. Six big ones over the ropes. And Bangla Tigers have got a cracking score. Zazai, well, he just watched in admiration for the last four or five minutes. He ended 35 not out and 26. All about Dasu Shanika, 62 from 27. Yeah, good fight back, no doubt. And the bowlers, well, the skipper there, Mustafa. Wow. Decided to bowl himself in the last over that disappeared for 31. Three sixes at the end, but four sixes in total in that final 10th over. He goes for uh, 21s. And uh, you look at that. Udana, 19. His last one was expensive. Janet, he too, his last one went a little bit. So uh, the only successful bowler, Patak. A nice little knuckleball. to see how Faf Duplessis goes about this innings, even just will he have a look for a couple of balls. Thick outside edge, deep third, can he get round? Yes he can! Dasu Shanika cannot keep him out of the game, it was a little bit fuller from Little and it swung just the tad. You can just see he's setting up to try and go leg side, he gets an outside edge and because Little gets a little bit of shape it's near enough a top edge out to Shanika. Good looking seam position. Look, he's trying to get on top of the bounce. Maybe more sliced out. Good catch. Really good catch. Well judged. Have their first wicket. Inroads into the Sampami lineup. Chajil gone without scoring. They're eight for one. Down the pitch. Lovely, lovely. Hit down the ground from Faf Duplessis, who's been watchful, and then says, enough's enough, I've got to get myself going. Going that way, I've got no problem with the bowler doing that, but this is the counter. Faf Duplessis saying, I'm not having you bowling length, I'm coming at you. I'm going to try and hit you off your length and go down ground and be down the ground. And because of that high back lift and that split grip, he's able to bottom hand it straight back over the bowler's head. Well, you don't need to get down the pitch because that's such a poor ball. That's a rarity, up onto the bank. Now, whether this slips out of his hand, he is, he's just wiping his hand now. Let's have a look at this, what was he trying? No, it's just a dra drag down. Whether he's a, an attempted googly, he knows straight away. He knows, look, he knows, slips out. Well, even with that six, well, and a four to finish. So a respectable over turns into a, a good one for the Samp Army. 15 off at 33 for one. Get him, and get even him. that is a gamble. Does he get enough of it? No. He's not going to drop them, Liam Livingston. He could just see a subtle change. Maybe he just floated that up. And uh, another wicket down for the Samp Army. Yeah, it's a change up. For a finger spinner, you've got to be very clever. Takes the pace out of that, gets it way above the eye line, and Fafti Plessy, rightly so, thinks, oh, I can climb into this. Good catch from Liam Livingston. He might not have a jersey, but he got a good pair of hands down at long on. And Fafti Plessy, he threatened. Got himself in, but got himself out. Trudges off for 29. Oh, that sounded brilliant. What a wonderful strike. Deep into the leg side for six. As a batter, you love that sound. As a bowler, put your head down, walk back to your mark and get it better. Get your line and your length better. Uh, down the ground, punished. Wonderful, wonderful hit. Second six of the over, expensive from pain. 17 off it, Sam Farmy on the charge, 57 for two. Got him this time. Shazad's ended up on the floor, but it's definitely a stumping. In fact, it's almost a run out and a wide. Picked the batter's brains here. I think Shakib just knew he was coming at him, knew that 
Mustafa was struggling somewhat. He's fired it in, fired it wide. He is a mile down. And the skipper goes. Seven from six. Oh, hello, there's confusion. Oh, dear, that's out by a country mile, and it's Andres Haus who's setting in, and that's not good for the Morrisville Sump Army. Rashid's first over going for 15. Trying to look for that offside, a call of yes, no, wait. And that is over and you what? For Andres Haus. He's gone for 24 or 30. Made a good innings, but it's done now. 65 for four. Nicely threaded for four. Yeah, sat back and waited on that one nicely. Oh, hello. Help yourself to a delivery on leg stuff. Man, that's impressive. Gloucestershire man through and through in the UK. Debuted back in 2010. Been there ever since. Captain their side to what was a brilliant T20 Blast title over the recent summer. Oh dear. Wow. You got to get out of the way of those missiles. 14 off the eighth. That's 89 for four. Yeah, he's vastly experienced uh, at this role, David Payne. It's not easy. And he's got history, and that might go out of the park. The problem is, for Payne, is he's bowling to his captain. He's bowling to his captain. He knows him so well, Taylor. And he's just picked the brains straight away. Yeah, it was a bit like uh, Shanika up against Yudana. Up, up, and that's the ball game. Yeah, keep the ball, get it signed. You deserve this. Catch in the deep, crowd one. And uh, what a wonderful strike there from Kareem Chanak to finish proceedings here in match two of this eighth edition. And the Sump Army, they get up with uh, three balls to spare. 106 for just the one. Hotak was really good, one for five off one. Shanika outstanding innings in the end but it was a little slow to get going and then the Sump Army 108 for four in reply the Sump Army winning by six wickets in match two of the Abu Dhabi T10